Today is uh, May 1st, uh, 2024. This here is a uh, update for uh, for May. This is the Carmen Haas. As you could see, pushed out a whole bunch of leaf growth. Uh, early on, a lot of the leaves got damaged, Persea mites. So, um, but it seems like it's recovering, but uh, yeah, early on it was it was getting beat up by those mites. So, um, tiny little BBs on this, still flowering. Uh, up top, it has new flowers coming on, but uh, it's not bad. It's looking bushy, and like I said, a few little BBs here and there. Uh, let's see uh, if it holds any. But that's the. Uh, the Carmen come a long way since I planted it. So this here is a Gwen, little small little Gwen. It's doing doing really well. The same thing. Got attacked by Persea mite. Um, looks like it's over already. So all the new growth is looking good. Uh, this had flowers. This had actually had a, quite a bit of flowers for being so small. And it's holding on to a little small baby. I'm not gonna let it grow very big though. I'm gonna pull it off just I need this to get a little taller, get a little thick thickness on that tree trunk. But uh that's uh the Gwen and uh the Carmen right next to it. Let me pan over here. Uh I'm watering right now so um this small little guy is uh Esther and this is nuts because this has so many little BBs hanging on it and uh, there's no way, no way it could possibly hold all that fruit. And like I said, I'll be pitch pinching them off. I'm letting it do whatever it's doing right now. But, uh, as soon as I see that it's gonna start holding that fruit up, I'll, I'll pinch it off, it's too small. Uh, here we are with uh, bacon. Um, that there is a, a graft, my only successful graft. It's a, a charwell on a bacon. So looks good though, it's growing. So let's see, see what happens. But the bacon, um, just like last year, I can't see any fruitlets on it, but doesn't mean it doesn't have any. It had fruit last year, so I'm not gonna doubt the tree this year. <laughs> if it has fruit, it has fruit. But, uh, it's doing really well. Uh, dropped a lot of leaves, pushing out new growth now. Um, it's looking good though, looking real good. So anyhow, this is the the bacon. As you can see, eesh, I want to say maybe 12, 13 feet tall now. It's getting big. Uh, anyhow, that's the bacon. So uh, here I am with uh, the lamb, lamb has uh, this pushed out, nothing but new growth, dropped all the leaves, uh, pushed out new growth. It's still holding avocados from last year's uh, flowerings. Uh, we already picked, uh, I want to say about six of them, six avocados. It's just they're flushing and they turn black. So we're all like, hey, those might be ready. And yeah, sure enough, they're good. Um, these are, Hopefully uh, we could let it <laughs> let it hold on to them. Hopefully it doesn't drop them. But see if it uh, if we could let them uh, hang until July. Hopefully, but no flowers this year for the lamb. Uh, anyhow, it's uh, looking real green and lush though. Uh, pushing out a lot of growth. Maybe that's a good thing. It'll help it uh, fill out a little bit more without uh, having to. Uh, send nutrients to any new fruit so anyhow this is the lamb lamb has so here we are with the Pinkerton Pinkerton's pushing out a new growth again um, flowered a few little tiny BBs on here but um, again this last year I made the mistake of leaving one avocado and it seemed to like not want to grow it didn't grow actually 
it's kind of stayed stunted uh, this year. Look again, the persea mites, they're just devastated the leaves. But uh, the new growth looks good. No, no sign of persea mites on the new growth. But uh, again, a few little BBs here and there. Um, it's looking good though. It seems like it's pushing out. Um, I might be pruning some of the, uh, I see a branch that's kind of awkward growing on the bottom. Um, more than likely, I'm gonna prune that off. Uh, but, uh, that's the Pinkerton. Let me uh, try to swing over slowly to this side. Uh, don't mind that, those are, uh, there's smallberry trees here too. Um, this uh, Sharwell. The Sharwell is starting to grow. It, for some reason, it, uh, decided it was gonna grow this year and it's uh, taking off though there's a tiny little BB I don't know if they'll stick or not but uh, this tree it passed that five foot mark that little ribbons uh, the five foot but uh, it's growing finally it's actually bushing out real nice um, so I'm assuming these the Charwell's a more of a bushy tree than anything cuz all the branches to the sides it's, it's just pushing out nice looks real good actually real healthy um, again that fruit I see one little BB on it still flowering still pushing out flowers so um, we'll see see what this does uh, anyhow this is the Sharwell all right so here we are with uh, a Gwen this is a Gwen um, dropped almost all its leaves pushed out new ones uh, as you can see it's flowering like mad um, this has small little BBs on it as well um, this they actually need to pin, be pinched off for sure for sure just they're you know little tiny pots um, this here's a lamb got some sun damage already it hasn't even been that hot and it's already sun damaged um, this uh it, i know it had some bb's it seemed like they dropped them already so which is good way too small of a tree to hold anything um let me pan over this here is a gem uh seems like it's growing taller and taller i still haven't got it in the ground um it is uh doing really well um, I actually whitewashed it again. Um, sun was getting pretty harsh out here. And I think just there's gravel all around here. So I'm thinking that gravel reflects a lot of heat. So it might contribute to uh, them overheating. This is a reed, reed avocado. This one, you could see Persea mite again. Um, looks like it's pushing out flowers, uh, new branching and stuff. But, uh, Oh, that's a that's a seedling. I'm gonna graft it, but it's it's from a, a reed from last year, so uh, we'll see. Um, but hopefully, I graft it correctly and it'll grow something. And here we are with the with the reed. Uh, still, still haven't cut this. Um, uh, it just it's hard to cut a tree. It's hard to cut it. Hard to cut the tree just because you see that it's uh still has fruit and um that tree trunk yeah, that tree trunk just does not get thick it's just growing to the sides but that tree trunk staying small staying the same size but uh still hold, it's holding three avocados um uh, that one's getting dull already so hopefully they're almost ready to pick but uh I heard someone saying they, they'll pick them in July, so that's not too far along. We're already in May, so. But, uh, yeah, they're getting a little on the dull side. They're not shiny anymore, so might be uh, getting close to uh, picking time. But anyhow, this is uh, the reed avocado. All right, so here I am with the another gem this one flowered flowered like mad very heavy 
heavy flowering has a few little babies here and there um, ah, this one I see that it just it doesn't look healthy to me um, obviously right now I dropped all, almost all the leaves it just it does that when it's flowering it grows back new ones but uh, I already I found like three branches on it that they're kind of drying out like completely and there are new branches that are flowering so I'm not sure what's up uh, they were on the higher branches up on top so I don't know maybe they got hit by something or I don't know I don't see any more of that going on but uh, it uh, I don't know kind of worried about this tree just uh, haven't had any trees failed yet so but uh, this one for some reason it's planted in a different area uh, a lot of a lot of clay here too but uh, I filled up the hole it drained pretty quick um, even though it's clay uh, did a lot of gypsum put a lot of gypsum in there um, but like I said this one again the tree trunk looks small like the reed it's not not getting any thicker um, maybe maybe this need it needs a trim or something I don't know I'll, I'll let it grow this season again without cutting much if I see that it still looks scrawny and look, doing the same uh, this year it only had one avocado um, but uh, we'll see last year the same thing one avocado but like I said this is a, a gem and I don't know if it just needs more need, needs to be fertilized or I'm not sure I'm uh, kind of lost with this one but anyhow this is a update for uh, May uh, 1st 2024 um, it's getting warm it's starting to get warm make sure you water your trees keep them hydrated all right guys see you guys uh, next month hopefully